Hey everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with PNOD. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm in my book planner and I'm going to do a page. It looks like a lot of people are doing is this kind of books read for 2021. And so I have this filler paper from one of the Disney Princess accessory packs and it's Belle sitting there reading. So that's just perfect to do a page where I want to list all the books that I'm going to read in 2021. So I'm going to pull out this journaling sticker book because there's these stacks of books. And then also this Books Are Great sticker book. It also has stacks of books in it. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. And then the Alphabet sticker book. So first I'm going to put Books 2021, but not dead center because you can see this page is kind of divided in half. So I'm just going to put them over here to the right. So the number stickers are from that first Alphabet book. And then these letter stickers are from the Fun Alphabets book. And just a Books 2021. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to have the page look like. So I have to figure it out and build it as we go here. I like the colorful books, but there's no place really to write in them. And then I'm trying to think, do I pair them with a colorful box? Uh, we'll see. So I'm just going to start building from the bottom up. And I'm still trying to figure out what else I want to add. I'm thinking these plants will kind of add some nice like bookshelf touches. So let's do this tall skinny one in the corner with the stack of books next to it. And then as far as the shelf, because I'm going to build kind of a bookshelf here. I'm thinking I could just use these journaling strip stickers of like garland and kind of look like maybe some garland hanging from the shelf. Okay, and I am just figuring this out as I go along. <laughs> I didn't have a sketch or anything uh, to help me figure it out, but there's also these really cute cats in that Books or Magic sticker book. They say nap time across the top, so I'm just going to trim that nap time off with a pair of scissors, careful using sharp objects. And then I'll save that nap time. And then tuck that little cat in. Just a cozy little cat. Alright, then... You need the second half of that shelf. So I'm going to come back in with the matching sticker. And I'm going to try to line the two up. I might end up tucking it underneath that first one so that the pattern is continuous. All right, and then I'm going to trim that excess. All right. Then there are these colorful boxes with like the easy chair and stacks of books and things. So I think I'll put a couple of these in as well to mix up some colors with the black and white. You could put a book or two in there. And there are these little colorful flags that say read on them. So I thought we could tuck those in on these colorful boxes where it says like to do or today. Just so it says read instead. And then I need to add another shelf. And then this time I'm going to go ahead and put the shelf all the way across all at once. And I do need to tuck this one under. Oh no, I think I'll be okay. All right, and trim off the excess. All right, and then because these are on a white background, they leave a little gap. So I'm just going to take a black pen and come back in and try to draw in a little bit of the line so it doesn't look like there's a gap there. 
Okay, not perfect, but it works. All right, then we can add some more plants. And then I had one of these little books that looks like it's fallen open. Trying to see what angle I want it in there at. And another plant sticker. And another stack of books, but I don't want it perfectly above one of the other stacks. We're going to off center it. And another one of those books on its side. I think maybe a plant first. Another book. Okay, then I'm thinking that top shelf needs some color. pretty cute. I'm going to trim up the excess a little bit. And then having this big white space on the back, I feel like I want to do something with the back as well. Usually you just see the front half of the pages people have done. And I, it looks like I have space to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, about 26, 28 or so. Um, I could add more space even still, but that's quite a few books hmm, to a month. I'm quite a bit quicker than that, but I could add a second page if I need to. Um, so I'm just going to pop it in here. But I actually do add to the back, but I'm just going to pop it in here real quick. I think I'd keep it in the middle of the monthly so that as I'm reading, I can fill those in. Now, what I did was I went to film the back half of my camera stopped on me but let me show you what I did real quick with the fun alphabet sticker book I came in and with these tiny little colorful stickers well they're not that tiny but with these little colorful stickers I put awards and I'm gonna put um, my favorite books from the year in different categories and write them in these balloons at the end of the year so from the happy illustration sticker book you can find these balloon stickers and I just put a couple of them out. There's a page of brighter ones and a page of the pastel ones. Yeah. And then I put four of those balloons down with some of these gold foil confetti kind of strips. And that was it for the stickers. And then wrote in things like my favorite book from the year, best love story, best story, stuff like that. And so at the end of the year, I'll write in my favorite books. And then this bottom section I have it's bullet points with lines. And I figure that bottom section, you can just write a list of all the books you read. And then that top section for awards. And then the front section is that really cute bookshelf where you can fill in all the little names of the books. Let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out really cute. I had no clue what it was going to end up looking like. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.